In this problem, we have an equation with rational exponents. So we have x minus 4 to the 2 thirds power. And that's equal to 36. So when you have an equation with rational exponents, you want to focus on getting rid of the bottom number, bottom number first. So we'll start by rewriting it, x minus 4 to the 2 thirds equals 36. And then we'll just cube both sides. That will get rid of the bottom number. So parentheses, 3 parentheses 3. I guess you didn't really need a parentheses uh, in this case. What happens next is, you know what, I'll show all the work. x minus 4. Properties of exponents say you actually multiply 2 thirds times 3. And that's equal to 36 cubed. These 3's cancel, so we get x minus 4 squared equals 36 cubed. Beautiful stuff. So if you had like x to the 7 over 8, you would raise both sides to the eighth power, and then the eighth would cancel. Same thing. At this point, we have uh, something squared equal to a number, so we use the square root property. We take the square root, the two goes away, and we always get a plus or minus. Okay, so we have plus or minus square root, 36 cubed. So how do you do this? Well, to deal with the 36 cubed, it turns out you can put, you can put the three up here. You can do that, that's allowed. So. You can write this as the square root of 36 cubed. So it's x minus 4 equals plus or minus. Um, the square root of 36 is 6, so you get 6 cubed. So x minus 4 equals plus or minus. Um, 6 cubed is, I believe, 216. And then we just have to add 4 to finish. So I'm going to come over here. Oh, running out of room. <laughs> x equals so adding 4, so 4 plus or minus 216. Looks like we have two answers, so we have to do the plus and the minus. So x is 4 plus 216. That's going to be x equals 220. So that's one answer. The other answer should be x equals 4 minus 216, and that will be uh, negative 212. And we should, we should check our answers. Um, let's go ahead and check them really quick. Let me see if I can if I can scroll this down, and then we'll, and then we'll check. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and re rewrite the original problem here. So it was x minus 4 to the 2 thirds equals 36. So if we check 220, so check 220. I'm going to use a calculator to check this. So 220 minus 4 to the 2 thirds. That should be equal to 36. So that's 216 to the two-thirds. I'm going to type that into my calculator just, just really quickly just to make sure. Yep, 36. Boom. Like a pro. We're pros. <laughs> Let's check negative 212. So we get negative 212 minus 4 to the two-thirds. That's negative 216 to the two-thirds. That should be the same, so 36. So everything is okay. Hope that made sense.